Hi, I'm Rebecca Gonzalez at the El Paso Art Museum, and today I'll be analyzing Jacinta Garrett's 1702 2D oil canvas painting of French Masters of Request. The dimensions are unknown. The painting consists of soft and delicate lines, such as in the hair, face, and hands. There is implied horizontal lines at the table and the top of the chair. Also implied vertical lines on the white part of the outfit, the wall, and the division of the hair. In addition, there is curved lines on the curtain and chair armrest. Furthermore, contour is represented on the white part of the outfit, which is creating an implied line. There is both organic and geometric shapes in the painting. The magistrate himself is the organic shape. Then the books in the bookshelf and the book he is holding is the geometric shape. Chiaroscuro is shown here at the tablecloth and outfit of the man. With its gradual shift from light to dark, it creates a three-dimensional form to show volume and mass. The hair is a representation of visual texture because it is implied that the hair is soft and poofy. Also, along with the outfit of the man, curtain, and tablecloth, they all have a silk-like implied texture. This painting consists mainly of neutral colors such as black, white, and brown, but it also includes the tint of violet of the tablecloth, the complementary colors red and green of the books, and the tertiary yellow-brown color of the curtain and book. To create the illusion of death, there is overlapping presented all throughout the painting. The painting has an asymmetrical balance because there is an overall equilibrium achieved. Since this painting is more of an 18th century selfie, the vocal point would be the magistrate's face. The scale and proportion are relative to each other because the relationship of the objects are what is expected. The books, chair, and curtain are all proportional to the man. Overall, this is a naturalistic painting because we recognize it from the world of visual reality.